take it to the next level. So it's never. I'm doing this all for the love of Kobe and Gigi and, and what they stood for and what Kobe represented LA. I'm originally from LA, you know, so he represented us. His hard work ethic and all of his stuff that he did on an everyday basis, that, that pushes me to strive harder. You know what I'm saying? People start to learn, passing the ball. Yeah, that's how you make guys better. You have to really affect your behavior. How do you do that? That, that was God to me, you know what I'm saying? You know, that was supposed to happen. God brought that together, you know what I'm saying? We were supposed to get that. Shooting all LA one, LA Dodgers two, man, come on, bro. Like, it, it's a great time for being from LA right now, you know what I'm saying? And that's, that's exactly what we needed to bring everybody back together again. And me coming down here with this sign is bringing a lot of people around and just show, showing and spreading the love, bro. Okay, cool. I'm trying to get a ticket. I was to say, listen, you But I don't know if And we knew that we were going to have some uh, rough and patchy periods and they stood strong. Uh, of course, the, I've had good backing from the club and the leadership have been very steady, which I feel very grateful for because I've we've been through a two or three really uh, bad spells of form, uh, of course. Well, it's not really for me to comment too much on, on, on that one, of course. Uh, uh, one thing I know for sure is that Frank doesn't want any of us to, to feel sorry for him, uh, that's for sure. I know his, uh, his character mentality and I'm sure he'll, he'll bounce back and have a very good managerial career. It just went through a little patchy period for a short spell. It's not long ago they were top of the league and uh, it's the first dip of form they've really had under Frank. So uh, a little bit surprised but um, it's not... Uh, my uh, job to comment on what's happening at Chelsea, really. I've said it so many times, home or away, it doesn't really matter. It's just uh, uh, the pitch, the surface of the pitch and the surroundings. There's no, no fans. No Now, I know in some countries, for example, they've, they've already vaccinated, they've started vaccinating Olympians and Paralympians. So there will be many athletes who come to the Games next year who have been vaccinated before the opening ceremony, which, is, which puts us in a much stronger position. seen British Paralympians being vaccinated um, because they're seen as vulnerable members of society. I've seen some athletes I think in Israel have been vaccinated. Um, so I'm seeing here, there and everywhere on Twitter various athletes tweeting about the fact that they've received the vaccine. So we're aware that many Paralympians around the world are already in, in line to get the vaccine, either have either had it or are in line to get the vaccine in the coming weeks and months.
Mm-hmm.